it's been a little bit of everything. One, one, you know, one game we lost it with, with where our pen, um, uncharacteristically, um, you know, we haven't swung it great. We've had a couple guys, you know, just tail off this week. But you know, that's all. That's all with the ebb and flow of the season. That's going to happen. Um, you know, we just got to. Just got to pick it up a little bit and, and go out tomorrow and, and try and make it happen. And you know we've been able to grab a lead here these first two games and then haven't been able to add on. That's where we, you know, we got to we got to be able to tack on. And you know this is a team when they get a lead, um, they got a pretty good pen to shut you down. Why do you think the bats have gone quiet after the initial strike in the last two days? Well, I mean, long season. I mean, you're not going to beat the brakes off the of guys all the time. I mean. Bottom line is we scored four runs today. A couple, you know, we've. It's not like we've gone silent. We just haven't <clears throat> been beaten up teams like like we have uh, throughout the year. So, uh, you know, we're still taking our at bats and, and, and we'll get it rolling. Your long relievers and middle relievers have given up a lot of runs lately. Is that a concern? Yeah, you know, I mean, sometimes you know those, you know, that fifth, sixth, seventh inning right now, you know. Especially when we're in a game, you know, we gotta be able to, we gotta be able to get some key outs in those in those spots. Um, you know, that's sometimes, you know, the difference. You know, obviously, if we can get a lead through the middle innings with our guys, we feel great about it. But but we gotta be able to get some key outs when when we're when we're down a run or two or or even tied in those middle innings. Those are the key innings we gotta we gotta be able to win. I see Didi kind of hit the ground running. Yeah, it really is. I mean, he looks great up there, I think. Um, you can tell he's real comfortable, made a really good play in the field today as well. So, um, you know, I, I, I never worry about Didi and his mindset, whether he's scuffling, whether he's doing well. But but that said, it's always nice to, when, when you've been out, and out with the injury, obviously, to, to come right back in and swing the bat well is, um, is always nice. He was really rolling. What were you seeing there from him? Um, just a little mix. You know, he's able to work the two seamer, the lefties, the cutter. Um, you know, I didn't think the stuff was necessarily great today, but but I thought he was effective pitching up with the cutter. Obviously, mixing in a slider as well. Um, I don't know how many changeups he threw today. If it was very many, but um, you know, he is able to make some pitches and, and had the strikeout going even a little bit early. Is Brett okay? Guardy, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he split his lip pretty well, so check on him, but, yeah. What have you seen from his bats? I think he's 0 for 21 now. Marty? A couple good ones today. I mean, got gets robbed into the fence. Last A.B. smokes the ball up right at the second baseman. Um, you know, so you just got to keep plugging away with it and, um, you know, making sure when you do get a pitch, when you do get a, a, a good fastball to hit, you got to take advantage of those situations. And, um, you know, so... I thought today was a little bit better. It was good to see him get some good swings off. He just missed a home run by a couple feet his first time, and then that a great play against him, and, and obviously the last one he smoked too. So I thought good at bats today overall. Now, now you just want to start getting some results, obviously. Aaron, who pitches tomorrow starting? Um, it'll probably be green. 